Hello from Seoul. There are so many great noodle dishes in the world. Ramen, pad thai, japchae, pho. But I know you're looking for the easiest and cheapest noodle dish. If this is you, you came to the right place. Today, all you need is a couple of minutes and two dollars. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we are making chow mein. Well, I know you're probably thinking like, Aaron, it looked super delicious on YouTube, but it was so greasy and flavorless. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I blame you, Panda. But as always, with me, it's gonna be fantastic. For this, you will need chicken, onion, cabbage, carrot, green onion, black pepper, garlic, and noodles. Actually, for chow mein, you can use any veggies or protein. So if you don't like something here, you can leave it out or you can replace it with what you like. No problem at all. Alright, let's start with vegetables. First, slice half an onion. Not too thin, not too thick. If they're too thick, they're likely to be undercooked, which means nobody wants to give you a kiss, even your fur baby. True story. Next, slice 130 grams of cabbage, nice and thin, so that you feel like you're eating another type of noodles. Trust me, if you cut it into thin strips like this, the noodles and cabbage, that will go so well together. Now get yourself 60 grams of carrot and cut it into thin matchsticks. If you could use julienne peeler, that would be amazing. If not, don't worry about it. I'll show you one little knife skill. First, trim off the sides so that it doesn't move around and make a little rectangle and then cut it into thin slices. Once you slice all the way down, nicely arrange them and cut it into thin strips. That's it. So simple, right? Since you learned a cool technique, why don't you show up to your date? That's gonna make you look so cool. But before you do that, please serve a nice glass of wine first. What? You want me to pick wine too? Well, I know some wine, but I think today's sponsor, Bright Sellers, will do the best job for you. Bright Sellers is a monthly wine club that matches you with great wines from all over the world. Curated to your palate. The best part is that it doesn't matter if you know absolutely nothing about wine. All you need to do is just go to brightsellers.com and take their 7 question quiz. Then they will deliver wines based on your taste preferences. Not only does Bright Sellers match you with great bottles of wine, but they also send you wine right to your doorstep. Which means you don't have to feel overwhelmed in the liquor store. Plus, each box comes with wine education cards that help you learn about what you're drinking. It tells you the best temperature to serve it at, where it comes from, and even the food that pairs well with the wine. Which means you can't show off to your girlfriend or boyfriend even though you know nothing about wines. Told you, Bright Sellers will do the best job for you. If you'd like to try Bright Sellers for yourself, click my link down below, get 50% off your first 6 bottle box, and support our channel. You want to experience the perfect wine that's completely unique to your palate, take the quiz and get started. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Bright Sellers. Now chop some green onions into long strips. About 2 inches would be perfect. It not only makes your dish so fragrant, but it also makes your food look fancy. So as always, please be super generous with this. This time, the pepper. Cut off the top and the bottom and take out the seeds. And then, just like the carrot, slice it up into long strips. Yes, as you might guess, we're basically trying to cut all the veggies about the same size. And that is how you get the most beautiful and delicious chow mein. Lastly, smash 3 cloves of garlic and finely chop it. It's nothing special, but if you smash it like this, they're gonna release an amazing aroma. So it will be a lot more fragrant. Now, let's move on to the chicken thighs. If you're cooking for someone hungry, check their mood first and decide whether you remove the skin or not. Trust me, this little detail will save your life from predators. And then slice it into nice bite-sized pieces. Once you're done that, put them in a mixing bowl. And add 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, a pinch of sugar, half of the egg white, 1.5 tablespoons of cornstarch, and give it a good massage until they're so relaxed. Now, all you need to do is just give them some privacy. That's it. In the meantime, let's talk about the noodles. Normally, chow mein is made with Cantonese-style egg noodles. What? You can't get this one? Don't worry about it. Just use any kind of noodles. Even spaghetti noodles work really well. I'm serious. 
Once the water starts boil, cook your noodles according to the package instructions. When the noodles are cooked through, remove from the pot and rinse them under cold water so they stop cooking. And then make sure to get rid of as much moisture as possible. This is so important so I'm gonna let them dry on a piece of paper towels for a while. If you're too lazy and skip this step, you might end up with some soupy chow mein that nobody wants. I told you already, so if that happens, I'm not responsible. Lastly, let's make the sauce. In a small container, add two and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one and a half tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, one teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and give that a good mix. Here, some of you might ask, Aaron, I don't have that dark soy sauce. What should I do? Don't worry about it. Just add one teaspoon of regular soy sauce. But you know, you're gonna get less tan chow mein at the end. So if that's not as beautiful as mine, I'm not responsible. Last but not least, this is totally optional, but if you add a pinch of this, it's gonna boost up all the flavors in there. You wanna know what it is? But it's your choice. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. When cooking Chinese food at home, you don't have to use that enormous heavy wok that you might have seen at Chinese restaurants. You can just use normal nonstick pan or the one you use every day because we don't have that big big fire at home. So there's no big taste difference. So just use what you have. That's the best. Alright, add 3 tablespoons of oil to a wok and heat it over high heat. Once the wok gets nice and hot, add in your chicken and let it cook for about 2-3 minutes or until nicely browned. And when the chicken is cooked through, remove it from the wok and set it aside. After that, into the same wok, add in your garlic, onions, and stir them around for about 30 seconds. Once you can smell the amazing aroma, increase the heat to high, strain some cabbage, bell peppers, carrots, green onions, and stir fry for another minute or two. Here, we're not gonna cook until they're completely wilted down. We still want some nice crunchy, and that's the key. Again, once the veggies are nicely cooked, remove from the wok and set them aside. Now, place the same wok over medium high heat. Add 1 tablespoon of cooking oil along with our noodles and toast them for about 1-2 to two minutes or until the noodles get some brownish color here and there. Now increase the heat to high and add half of the sauce, our vegetables, and the chicken. And then stir fry for about 1-2 to two minutes. Once everything is well combined, pour the remaining sauce and toss it around for about 2 minutes or until everything is completely coated with the sauce. Now turn the heat off and let's finish it off with 1 teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Once everything is nice and glossy, transfer it to a serving plate and there you have it. Your beautifully cooked chow mein. You wanna know how it tastes? Alright, let's call our taste tester. Claire? Because I always say bring some rice, you guys wouldn't believe if I have to choose rice or noodles, 9 out of 10 I always go for noodles. But whenever I get this chow mein at Panda, I was not happy with that. Sorry. I feel like it's mainly because it was not freshly made and to my standard, it was flavorless. So I have no doubt this tastes way better than that. Let's give it a try. Oh, 벌써 냄새부터가 뭔가 달라. Oh, 윤기. 윤기 나는 거 봐. 잔뜩 들어서. 더 가져가. Ready? Wow, 맛있네. Wow, this is flavorful. 면에 소스가 코팅이 잘 됐고 거기에 닭에서 나오는 그 기름 이런 것들이 뭔가 면을 샥 코팅을 너무 잘 해줘가지고 그게 너무 맛있어. 그리고 이 많은 양을 조리했는데도 불구하고 야채들이 숨이 안 죽고 아직도 딱 씹었었을 때 아삭아삭하게 식감이 느껴지는 게 그게 너무 재밌네. 면은 되게 부드럽고 야채는 아삭아삭한 게 동시에 즐길 수 있으니까 너무 맛있어. 그리고 그 에그누들 특유의 향이 있잖아. 난 사실 원래 그거를 별로 안 좋아하거든. 그래서 차오미엔 하면 고기 조금 싫어서 좀 망설여져 될 때가 있었는데 이거는 소스가 잘그 향을 잘 잡아줘서 그런지 전혀 그런 향이 없어. If you don't like that smell, you should give it a try. This one doesn't have that kind of a smell or taste. So good. Mmm, 되게 맛있다. 어. 그리고 치킨도 보면 알겠지만 겉은 약간 쫄깃쫄깃거리고 속은 엄청 촉촉하니 진짜 맛있어. Mmm.
맛있다. 음, 계속 그냥 호로록 호로록 먹고 싶은 맛이야. <웃음> 음, 아 이거 양배추 꼭 넣어야겠는 걸? 너무 맛있네. 너무 좋다. 음, 음, 음. 왜 판다 같은 데서 먹으면 이거랑 다른 음식이랑 같이 곁들여서 먹잖아. 근데 이거는 야채도 많이 들어있고 고기도 많이 들어있어서 그냥 한 끼에 완벽한 식사가 될것 같아. 그래도 오렌지 치킨은 필요할 것 같다. Bring some orange chicken! <웃음> 나 농담하는 거 아니야. 오렌지 치킨 언제 할 거야? <웃음> Today, I showed you how to make chow mein, one of the most popular stir fry noodles. Although there are so many great noodle dishes, as far as I know, this chow mein is one of the easiest and simplest noodles of all time. Plus, as you saw, it's budget friendly. Not only that, you can totally customize it any way you like. So try with beef, shrimp, tofu, or anything that works for you. Trust me, that will never let you down. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.